testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, boy, what did I witness today? I mean, that was spectacular. One of the great heavyweight fights of all time. The greatest heavyweight fight since when? Holyfield Bow? The, uh, the Thriller in Manila? Y'all tell me this was the best fight since when? Because it, it's up there. It's on that list. That was epic. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing blog uh, also please subscribe to our other channel texas boxing scene uh all, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery that's texas boxing scene all right guys let's get into today's show um that was absolutely phenomenal fight of the year i would say um you know it was uh you know the heavyweight fight we saw two weeks ago between joshua and Usyk was great i mean this was far better than that this was something to behold Five knockdowns total. Uh, Fury dropped uh, Wilder in the second. Um, and then finished him off uh, in the 10th. And then finished him off in the 11th. Uh, I'm sorry. He dropped him in the third, 10th and 11th. Um, is that right? Now I got to pull up my skill card. Yes. Um, although I scored the round. Um. Uh, Anyway, um, and the Wilder dropped uh, Fury twice. Wilder dropped Fury twice in the fourth. Um, looked like he had a chance to finish him. I want to get into this little count a little bit. The, the count was long. It was a very long count, um, especially the second one. I, I didn't really notice a problem with the first one. The second one was long. I don't know that it mattered because when Fury got dropped in the fourth round, the second time, there's only 12 seconds left. Uh, by the time you get up, you count them, you clean up his gloves, you make him go right, make him go left, and let the fight continue. The round's probably over anyway, even if the count's reasonable. Um, but it was long. I mean, there's no there's no denying that. The ref did not do a good job on that count. Um, but besides that, um, it was a great performance. It looked like I saw three rounds in. Wilder was going to be get washed. I thought it was going to end up looking like the, like the, the second fight. Um, you know, while they came out strong, he looked good in the first round. I thought he jabbed, uh, but then he didn't land much, right? He looked, looked how you wanted him to look, but I thought Fury was better. Fury nailed him with the right hand. I thought he carried the first round, even though Wilder was more aggressive. Um, I thought Fury dominated the second, dropped him in the third. I was like, oh boy, here we go. And then Wilder got cooking. Wilder dropped him twice in the fourth. You know, like it got close to finishing him. For a moment, it looked like he may stop him here in the fourth round. Um, then after that, I mean, it was back and forth warfare. I mean, this was a great fight. I mean, you, you could see Fury was breaking him down. I mean, Fury's 280. The, 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 look, I don't like Fury at this size. I, I like him better at 260 where he was still 6'9", 260 and mobile. You don't see the mobility in him anymore. He's just looking to maul you now and beat you up on the inside, which he can do because he's 280. I mean, even when he's hitting with jabs and, 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 and right hand, it's like a shotgun. Boom. Boom. Right? Um, he's so strong. Um, then, but you don't see the mobility. He's not moving, 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 moving. He's 280. He's he's wearing him down. You can see fifth round, sixth round, and Wilder's legs were shot. And Wilder hit him with some clean shots. And if Wilder had his legs underneath him, that fight would be over and Wilder would have won. But just that weight, that 280 pounds, that's like an offensive lineman almost, right? It's like a, a, a small college offensive lineman just leaning on you and pushing you. Yeah, your legs are going to give way. And I think ultimately that's that that's what it was because Wilder landed a ton of good shots, ton of good shots, and because he didn't have his legs behind him, he didn't have sturdy legs. He had jello legs because of, of, of Fury's size and weight. You know, Wilder didn't have the same snap on his punch, the same you know. And, and look, let's give kudos to Deontay Wilder because his chin and his heart is epic. I mean, it looked like for a while, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> that fight was over, and Wilder kept going and kept giving it hell. You know, um, in the tenth round, 
he had came back and he had hurt Wilder and he had hurt Fury after he got knocked down. Um, so th there was nothing not to like about this fight. Um, Fury, uh, you know, uh, especially the second half of the fight, I, I thought it dominated it. One of the judges had 94, 92, something like that. That's far too close. Wilder didn't really win the rounds. You know, it didn't really matter because I think we all knew this thing wasn't going to the, the cards. You know, Fury clearly, I thought, was in control. I didn't really score any round. I mean, I, you could score the first. It were probably three rounds. You could give Wilder the first. The fourth, obviously, 10-7. I think there was one more, maybe the six or something like that. But I didn't see the round to give to Wilder. And uh, I was cheering for Wilder. I, I, I caught myself cheering for Wilder. Um, and then, you know, that right hand that Fury ended it with in the 11th was amazing. It was, you know, Wilder went down like a ton of bricks. Uh, but one thing I want to note is that Malik Scott establishes himself as a for real, for real trainer. Like, he had a game plan. Wilder fought as well as he could. It just wasn't good enough. And one thing I wanted to point out was that while there's nothing to play with, I said this on MCR podcast, while there's nothing to play with, you don't play with Wilder, right? Um, you know, Wilder is sensational. Um, he's a really good heavyweight. He beats um, N.A. Joshua, in my opinion. Um, but neither Fury nor Wilder is beating Usyk. It's not happening, right? Um, you know, Usyk fights really well on the inside. A 280-pound Fury will have a 60-pound advantage over him in, in size, and, and maybe that will help. But Fury's going to outwork him in a hustle, right? He's not looking for one shot like Wilder is. And, and, and Usyk is far too skilled getting on the inside. Um, I think he'd, he'd beat Wilder. I've, I've always predicted that, even when, Cru when Usyk was still, you know, um, a cruiserweight. Because when Usyk was a cruiserweight, Wilder was a small heavyweight. He was 220, 218, weight like that. Um, so I didn't think there would be much of a size advantage. I said, okay, Usyk's a lot more skilled than Wilder. I thought always well, Usyk would be. But, look, Fury's not the best heavyweight in the world. Usyk is. And we're going to get that, but I would think sooner rather than later. Um, but, you know, for today, hats off to that fight. Um, Fury and Wilder gave us something to behold, something to remember. Uh, heavyweight division is in really good shape. That's two great heavyweight fights we've got in a couple of weeks. I mean, um, and, and now hopefully uh, we see Wilder again. I, I like to see Wilder versus Hellenius. What do you guys think of that? Fight? I think that'd be a fun fight, right? Um, and then I want to see Fury versus. I I I, I think we're gonna get Fury versus White, Dillian White, from what I'm being told, which is a good fight. Uh, but I really want to see White and Usyk. Because those are the two best heavyweights in the world. I mean, I'm Fury and Usyk. Fury and Usyk are the two best heavyweights in the world. Let's get Fury. Let's get, let's get. And again, I'm going to pick Usyk to win that fight. Um, although a great performance. Uh, you know, the heart and the chin that, that Wilder showed. Because, again, it looked like he was out of the fight for a while. And he kept fighting his way back into the fight. Where it's like, this is not over yet. Um, and then the 11th round happened. And, I mean. That, that shot he ate at the end there. But you can see his legs weren't with him. You know, it was a brutal fight. Um, both guys were, were worn out. Um, Fury. Like I said, Fury is more skilled, a lot more skilled, and he's 40 pounds bigger. 40. Right? Like, that's twice as much weight as separated Joshua from Usyk. It's 40 pounds. Right? Like, that's a tremendous amount of weight. And it was just too much. Right? And the skills, while it has, has to be perfect, he has to absolutely set up that right hand. Because even though he's the bigger puncher, the much bigger puncher, he's not the stronger guy. Right? Fury is strong as ox. And he, he just the weight and the size and the strength just broke Wilder down. Um, I don't think he can do that to Usyk, uh, but we'll see. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, what was your prediction? I know most people, most of y'all picked Fury, although I did see about a third, 30% of the people, maybe a little bit more, picking Wilder. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. And it's the best heavyweight fight since when, right? Bo Holyfield won? Maybe? You know, I don't know. Um, Ali, uh, Frazier 3? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, but it's on that it's on a short list of great heavyweight fights of all time. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. 
Um, it is October 9th. Uh, that's October 10th, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. It's that time of year again. Let's vote for the Iron Boy to get into the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.